What's up everyone? Welcome to Coral Care Quick Tips, episode number two. This is the show that shares coral care advice from very general topics to very specific topics. And today I am joined by a very special guest. His name is Blaine and you may know him as King Tide Corals over there on YouTube and Instagram. And he has some great coral care advice for us today. So let's jump right in and let's get started. What's going on reefers? My name is Blaine. I also go by King Tide Corals. I want to really quick say thank you so much to the Coral Reef Talk for letting me stop in and give you guys one of my coral care tips. The coral we're going to be talking about today is toadstools. Toadstools have been one of my favorite corals for quite some time because I think they bring ample movement to a tank and I also think they're one of the corals that can grow really well and are easy for beginners. Now I'm not going to say that every soft coral is good for beginners but I think toadstools are a great coral to use for a beginner looking to get into corals in the saltwater hobby. Now let's go ahead and talk about the placement of toadstools and where we're going to want to put them in our reef tanks. Toadstools are a type of coral that are gonna to wanna to get an ample amount of flow and also have enough space so that they can reach out and grow. Toadstools are a really awesome soft coral that are gonna provide a really good amount of movement in a tank. So you're gonna to wanna to give them an area and a placement in the system that's gonna get a good amount of flow so that their polyps can reach out and they can really show off and showcase their true beauty. I wanna say thank you again to the Coral Reef Talk for allowing me to stop in on the channel and talk a little bit about one of my favorite corals. Soft corals in general, I think get a bad rep in the hobby. So I'm here to let you guys know and to remind you that soft corals can be cool in a reef tank too. Thanks again guys for listening in on my care tip and until next time, happy reefing. Thank you so much for checking out this video and a very special thank you to Blaine over there at King Tide Corals for being a part of the Coral Care Quick Tip. Now, if you're not subscribed to King Tide Corals, go ahead and click that subscribe button over there and the follow button for Instagram. He's got a lot of great advice, and a lot of great content that you need to check out. So be sure you do that. And if you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button here at the Coral Reef Talk so you don't miss an episode of the Coral Care Quick Tip series. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time on the Coral Reef Talk.